All right, so now she's going to start soldering all this stuff together. Make sure she hits every point and gets a good blob across the top of it. So go wild. All right, so I want to... Wet the tip, remember? Wet the tip, okay. And then just touch it just under the lip and, to, and then just try and flow it into the hole. And probably stop there and pull it. It might need a little bit more. Oops. Just touch it in the mouth. All right, that looks all right. Good. Kind of ugly. Yeah, it takes practice, but as long as we get a good connection, we're okay. So do the next one over. That one looks a little bit better. This one's getting a little better. Do I still need to add more? You want to try, I mean, you can try, like I said, sometimes I'll just put quite a bit extra on the tip. So there's a blob there, and then just rake it across gently while it's still fairly warm, and it will put it kind of be, you, want, you don't want to stick it up, so touch it again, that means it didn't flow. Just touch it gently again and pull it away. If it leaves a shiny blob, then you're good. If it goes gray, it did badly. You don't want the gray, that means that it's a, a cold soldered joint. Now the fun one is the ones like that, because you have to get down in between. Because I can't have you hitting me while I'm doing this, okay? Thank you, sweetheart. Of course, uh, she's still learning, so she's I'm not going to want her to try and make things visible for the camera. But I've been trying to get better at making this visible for the camera. All right. Uh, now, these are always fun because they're, you know, you might want to just bring the, the tip back from this back side and put the solder in from the front side when you're doing those like that. Just do not touch the actual capacitor. Maybe the fan back a little bit for this one. Alright. Look at these guys. I tend to try and stick on one row and then come back and do the other row and then look for middle ones as well. But that's why I had you get this one right now is because it's on the same line. But you can also develop your own way. However, it's easiest for you to make sure you don't miss ones. But it's still a potential miss. Yeah. If it's sticking up, it's not warm enough and you can let it stay just a little bit longer to kind of melt it and pull away. It doesn't want to not stick out. I don't want it to stick out. It's annoying. <laughs> and it's gray. Yep, it turned gray. So you want to reheat it a little bit. Just wet the tip. Wet the tip a little. Okay. And then just kind of touch below the base until you see it flowing. And then pull it back away again. Like that? Yep. And it's staying shiny now. Alright. Now, I think if some of you guys like the idea of having somebody sit and help you through these things, I know that Bruce Ignator, who is of the Ignator Amps line, is uh, on Facebook and is reporting regular uh, classes, at least he has in his area, where he's teaching people how to build an amp. So he sits down with you and gives you hands-on training on how to build an amp. And from what I've heard, the reports are it's pretty cool stuff. Yours actually look better than mine do now. And as you guys can see, this Champ Amp is a very, very simple layout. There's not a lot of components, so 
If you're trying to learn, this is a good one to learn on. I'm gonna get in front of the camera here for a sec. That's fine. Just trying to get the right angle. Yep. This is where I will sometimes swap hands, but if you want to do it that way too, that's fine. Hands on. I use my left hand for the soldering and my right hand for the flux and so yeah. over there. Sometimes you'll see. That's why you don't want to leave the heat on too long either. I wouldn't mind if anybody has suggestions on maybe I'm running this too hot. I'm running at 750. Is that a little too hot? Maybe I can dial it down a little bit. Okay, if that's it, let's look, I don't see anything missed. And what we need to do is turn it over and fix that jumper. So let's do this. We need to, effectively what I've done in most cases when I do this, is you see how there's, this is the wire sticking up right here. Mm -hmm. It used to connect to there. I will just get, um, and I will go kind of like this. And then, solder and then solder in that joint. Okay. Now if you look, you can also see none of these are really dripping through the bottom at all. Right. So you've done a really good job. Yeah. No, no, you don't want them dripping out the bottom. You just want the top to be filled and, and hold that connection solid at the top. Oh, so just okay. go ahead and solder that connection now so that we get What's the What's the best way should I hold contact on down here? On no, this? you want to touch it kind of the side over here and then just flow up on the opposite what, side. The side on what? On here, this I'll show you what. I, I think I would just touch it right basically here. Okay. So just get the wet tip wet, touch it in there, and then kind of go in from the other side of that. Right there. Yeah. The board. No, you can't melt the board. Okay. It's made out of fiberglass. You, you could melt it, but I think it would be at like 3,000 degrees. Whatever they melt the glass at. And then, what we want to do now is you're going to go with these guys and you're going to snip off. You can go ahead and set that thing down. We'll shut this off now. Now we just need to snip off all of these. Do I turn this off? Yeah, you can turn that off if you want to. I'm gonna, you get that, start snipping. Just kind of hold on to the other end of the, of the piece of wire you're cutting off and you want to cut it about flush with the bottom of the board. So just kind of, of you fold all these guys out of the way mm -hmm. and just go like this, basically. You get that as flush as possible and hold on to the other end and, and snip just the wire. Don't try and snip any of the actual base of the thing. Just, yeah, there you go, perfect. You can just kind of set them somewhere. Yeah. Just get all those snipped off now. And the board is done. That one I got solder down here, but it's okay. Yep, that's fine. What's this one? So we can get bent up and cut a little bit. Let's check if I record this. Mm -hmm. Those are the pieces that I get in my feet when I go in the garage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this 
Kasse. Mhm. Das, das ist die Frage, dann nehmen wir es in der Hand. Okay. Alright, that board is done. So, now this will be ready to drop It's in. It's alive! Alive! Look at that, perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to take a short break, and then we're going to set up and start prepping the actual chassis. Alright.